Emmanuel D. Molyneux Hewlett. Hewlett practiced law in Boston from 1877 to 1880, then moved to Washington, D.C. In 1883, he was admitted to the bar of the United States Court of Claims and the United States Supreme Court Bar. As a member of the Supreme Court Bar, Hewlett was involved in 10 cases as counsel or co-counsel often joining appeals filed on behalf of black Southern defendants. In Charlie Smith v. State of Mississippi 162 U.S. 592, Dizanji Gibson v. State of Mississippi 162 U.S. 565, he let worked with attorney Cornelius J. Jones to argue that convicted murderers Smith and Gibson had been denied juries of their peers because the juries were in Brownfield v. North Carolina, 189 U.S. 426, he let worked with attorneys Jell Mitchell and V. J. Whipper in a case that made similar arguments, again seeking to overturn a murder conviction on the grounds that black jurors had been excluded due to their race or color. In the Ed Johnson case, in which he let acted as co-counsel to no pardon, Pardon made an argument on equal protection grounds that the trial of Ed Johnson, who faced the death penalty after a conviction for rape, had violated Johnson's constitutional rights, including through the exclusion of blacks from the jury. In 1889, Hewlett represented George O. Pryor, a black lawyer from Norfolk, Virginia, in a suit against the doorman at Harris Bijou Theater in Washington who had seated prior and a companion at the back of the theater instead of in the seats they had purchased. And in 1900 he was co-counsel in Wee T. Ferguson's case against the men. In 1915, Hewlett was involved with a class action reparations case filed by Cornelius J. Jones on behalf of a group of former slaves a certain ownership of $68 million paid in taxes on cotton produced using slave labor between 1859 and 1868. In November, Hewlett publicly declared that he sees no merit in the suit and was withdrawing from the case. Zerofa of 6298. 